Hi everyone. In this video, I just would like to show you that uh, how do we run cluster analysis using Tableau. In order to run cluster analysis, I am using the data from this public platform, State Crime. And here, there is a link here, and if you can see, and this is what that source from which I just got the data. And in this source here, you can see statecrime.csv file. And uh, I have used this data. Based on this data, I just run uh, cluster analysis. This data provides very comprehensive uh, perspectives of crimes reported in US during 1960-2019. And also it provides almost 51 states data and it provides various information and uh, information related to mostly property related crimes and violence related crime and also provide individual property related crimes and violence related crime i'm just using the individual property related crimes and violence related crimes in my data sheet so that i can run cluster analysis my objective of this particular project is to group state there are 51 states and based on the crimes committed and reported during 2019 i just would like to group the state or cluster the state or segment the state i'm just going to use these columns for my cluster analysis as the input and probably uh, i'm using property related crime especially uh, individual property related crimes like burglary larceny murder and also individual violence related crimes like assault murder rape and robbery totally four different characteristics i'm using in order to group the state all these characteristics are population adjusted and adjusted for one lakh population and uh, let us proceed with uh, cluster analysis using tableau the first thing is that i have the data the data i'll attach along with this particular video and that is a clean uh, data set in the sense clean in the sense i just extracted only 51 states data during 2019 and that's it okay so the data which i provide is a clean data set of original data set let me read the data in order to read the data i just went to microsoft excel let me um, locate the data from my desktop so I have so it's not sorry it's not it's not um, uh, I believe it's not an Excel data, it's a text data. Let me read through text file option here. And uh, it's look like an Excel data, but it's not an Excel data. Yeah, the data is here. So if you want to read Excel uh, data, you can click on uh, Microsoft Excel option. Otherwise, you just use uh, text option and so that you can read dot txt as well as dot csv and dot tab files etc i just open it so that you can see the data right now i believe you can see the screen and the data is here right now in tableau let us proceed in terms of analyzing it and uh, i'm just going to look at the character these are the uh, four plus uh, three seven characteristics so in order to run cluster, I'll just get uh, any of these two variables into rows and columns. Let me drag and drop one of these here. And uh, afterwards, what I do, that is I just want to group the state and whatever you would like to group and you just double click and activate. And after that, you just go to analytics. And here you can see cluster. And uh, since you included only two characteristics and include other characteristics also here in this variable list and let me go back and get other characters like larceny motor murder rape and robbery and let me drop it here let me start with looking at two cluster solution and uh, let me close and see the characteristics here i'll interpret the characteristics also in order to interpret the characteristics you can see described clusters so while looking at the describe cluster you can expand it here and you can understand and interpret what's the meaning here in order to understand it better and uh, you can actually understand uh, the characters by looking at 
the mean this is actually that uh, min max transformed center the sense you know it's a rescale center okay so i just use that so that you'll be able to compare it better i have explained everything during the class and just use this center and so that we can understand the characteristics and uh, okay here we can see cluster one consists of 30 and they are mostly 30 states they are slightly low on all these uh, crimes which is reported and because if you see the magnitude the max value would be one and min value would be zero and most of the values are near to zero it means that they have no magnitude of crimes in um, all these 30 states okay all the type of crimes are actually on the lower side at the same time what we look at uh, the other 21 states they are relatively high on all these things right okay fine so now you can see uh, this also so i just uh, explained this one in class that is uh, between cluster heterogeneity and within cluster heterogeneity and total heterogeneity and usually we presume that whenever you do subsequent clustering and our objective is to reduce uh, within cluster heterogeneity that is this and improve or increase between cluster heterogeneity so if it is drastically increasing that is between cluster heterogeneity drastically increasing it means that uh, subsequent clustering for example i have two cluster if i run three cluster if it improve uh, drastically and probably that is going to be a good cluster solution let me check uh, that particular aspect as well and let me see whether there is another possibility of getting one more cluster or let's see that okay so in order to revise the cluster solution so what i do i'll and look at again edit cluster i'll make it three instead of um, two and uh, let me come back and describe and so i'll describe clusters here when i am describing cluster first thing i'll look at whether between cluster heterogeneity improve or not compared to uh, the other within cluster and and also within cluster heterogeneity reduced or not if you see there is a uh, drastic improvement in terms of between cluster heterogeneity almost 10 to 11 percent and uh, within cluster heterogeneity also reduced and it shows that there is a reduction and and actually shows that yes this cluster improves uh, within cluster homogeneity and also increase uh, between cluster heterogeneity let me interpret the cluster centers and uh, let me click on show scale centers and uh, see the cluster solution here 29 in cluster 1 5 in cluster 2 and 17 if you see um, the cluster you can see that this cluster 1 29 states majority of them are actually uh, all the all, all these 29 states uh, if you look at their center you can see that they are their min max uh, uh, value uh, is actually mean of that min max value is actually on the lower side and it shows that they are low uh, i would say that uh, peaceful state i would that that's a better word okay so if you look at the other one they are relatively on the higher side and extremely on the higher side but they are on the mediocre side okay so that's what because all almost all the crime so here the contribution of this cluster solution is that we are able to classify all these 51 states into three groups and cluster one that is very peaceful and cluster two aggressive on crimes and cluster three uh, very much on the higher side or i would say that mediocre on um, crimes committed okay so uh, if you want to look at one more clustering, you can see that you know how uh, adding one more cluster improves uh, between cluster heterogeneity and reduce within cluster heterogeneity. Let's see that after that we'll go back and uh, let me close and uh, here let me come back and edit and do one more clustering. Let's see, I'll make it four and uh, describe the clusters here by clicking here. Let me describe the clusters and let's see the cluster solution here if you see the cluster solution make it scale centers and first of all let's see whether it improved yes it's improved again it improved in the sense between cluster heterogeneity that shows that yes adding one more cluster also increase between cluster heterogeneity and reduce uh, within cluster heterogeneity is actually happening so but from an interpretability standpoint let's see what's happening so while looking at the center that is min max transform center you can see that there is only one cluster and but uh, one cluster mm, uh, the, the slight difference is that this is not exactly same as actually this cluster two there are slight variations 
but having one cluster and keeping policies for that is not going to look good but they are very aggressive on all especially as all they are very high but the different from if you look at cluster 2 they are slightly higher in terms of burglary but these people are uh, you know these states are actually related on the lower side but they are very high on larceny they are slightly low on murder but high on murder and very low on rape and at the same time high on robbery but the point is that i have some skepticism with respect to making policies with respect to one cluster and uh, so probably if you are interested you can go back and uh, probably you can go with four cluster but anyway looking at this one number actually probably from a practical angle making policies with one cluster probably is going to be very tough looking at that i personally it's my personal observation i believe three cluster looks good we can make sure we can go back and make sure that this cluster four also club together with the cluster two so that it becomes single cluster let me go back and edit uh, and do three cluster solution so i just go back and edit uh, three cluster solution i'll come with i'll go with three cluster solution if you would like to go for four you can go four cluster so now what i do i just got uh, three clusters so it's like cluster one cluster two cluster three so let me do one thing in this case let me look at naming the clusters creating uh, a new column it's called as uh, cluster i would say uh, cluster membership so i'll type if function if then i would say that even before that i just need to do this and uh, i just forgot to do something and i'll click ok let me do i'll drag and drop this one on the left side so that uh, the cluster members are here okay so the state clusters are here let me edit it okay so yeah, so first of all i just request that you know you just uh, get this cluster and drop it on the left side so that you can save the cluster membership and what i'm going to do right now i'm just going to name this cluster membership and uh, like uh, there are three clusters first cluster i'm just going to make spaceful state and second cluster i'm just going to make and uh, severe on cluster that is aggressive on uh, severe on uh, crimes and the third cluster is mediocre on crime so that's what the name i just would like to give let me edit it and do it if i'll type state cluster uh, c equal to uh, let me do cluster one i just say that then function then i just want to give peaceful states and then i say else if and state cluster equal to cluster two i'll make it then i'll make it crime written state so else i just make it else i'll say that medium crimes states and i'll just end the command and let's see so what happens so you can click on and you can see the calculation is valid here and just create a cluster membership using this i just call first cluster as uh, peaceful states and second cluster are crime states are uh, crime written states and third cluster as medium crime states and just click apply okay and then i try to get uh, something here let me actually uh, come here and what i do right now and i will look at uh, if i want to look at actually you know each uh, crime and i can see that how many members are actually there in uh, each group yes in order to understand uh, some further insight and uh, let me actually make a plot and uh, what i do i just uh, double click the state and uh, when i double click the state here you can see 49 and 51 unknowns and let me correct the issue by clicking here you can edit the location here and how do we edit the location i can change from india i can make it united states and this is primarily because you know directly tableau is not able to recognize the latitude and longitude that could be the reason i got it so what i do i get this cluster membership i just drop it into color i'll convert as a map and uh, i can see that and also i can provide the states in label if i want 
and I can maximize and see what are the states or uh, I believe you can see it here so that's it actually so if you can make a plot like that it will be fine thank you